Oh, missed that one. Good morning, guys. No, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. It is, what's today's date? June 8th, nine in the morning. I've been up since like seven. <laughs> you guys probably are wondering why I'm wearing the exact same sweater every single day. Because it's so cold in New Hampshire. This is actually Taz's sweater, so it's not mine. <laughs> so I do switch them up. I do wash them. But I was actually wearing shorts and a sports bra right now, but I got really cold, so I just put on sweats again. <laughs> story of my life. Um, I was trying to uh, preempt myself because today I am working out outside on the deck. I actually did not take Taz to work. The plan was for me to take him to work, work out, come home, um, work, and then uh, go pick him up and then go to his brother's graduation. But I have so much work to do and he's like, why don't you just work out outside? And I was like, ooh, that's a good idea. It might be a nice day. So that's the plan. I'm actually going to get, I'm going to try to get a bunch of work done now, um, the majority of it. And then um, I need to wash my hair, so I have to like plan an hour for that. So I think um, I might work out around three or four. Um, that's usually when the sun is the worst, but I feel like it's not going to be that bad today, so I'm going to need it to be the hottest because I don't deal with cold and working outside. No, 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 no. Not for me. Sorry I have makeup. We went to his brother's um, award ceremony last night, like the senior awards. Um, but yeah. I did want to mention something. I received an email from, I guess, a publishing company, and they wanted to send me a book uh, for me to review, talk about it, whatever. And um, when I saw it, I was like, I'm only going to get it for one reason. Can you guys guess? <laughs> it's Lifted by Holly Rillinger. She is a celebrity personal trainer. Um, I actually saw that she started the class about a year ago in New York City, and when I saw it, I was like, what? So she's developed this workout called Lifted, and um, it's 28 days to strengthen your body, focus your mind, and elevate your spirit. And I, I actually liked how it kind of tied in with our company, so that's why I said yes, and I'm excited to read it. I don't know that I'm gonna read it all at once because it is like a workout plan, um, but I'm interested to see what it was, or what it is, and see if, um, I believe some of the things that she believes and vice versa. So um, it's always good to educate yourself and, and just be um, more aware of everything that's out there and the different types of workouts. I guess that leads me into, you know, like the workout Nazis, like I only do CrossFit or I only do bar or I only do bodybuilding. I, if you guys, if you guys can already tell, I like to do a lot of things just so that I'm well versed in a lot of different things and not so focused on one type of training. I, I like to have experience in all of it because what's gonna work for me is not necessarily gonna work for you and vice versa, right? Um, I'm not gonna like everything, you're not gonna like everything, so um, it's good to have an open mind and try new things from time to time. So that's that's what that was about. <laughs> but anyway, just wanted to come on here, say good morning. I decided that I'm going to do like a check-in video at the end of the week with all of my weigh-ins and how I'm feeling and everything like that, so if you guys are wondering about that. Um, that's why I haven't really updated you guys on that. Um, but it's interesting, I'll tell you that much. Um, all right, I think that's it for now. I'm gonna start getting to work, maybe have breakfast in a couple hours. And yeah, just, just get to it. That was my belly rumbling. All right, guys, I'll see you guys soon. It is around, it's, it's 11 o'clock and I'm starving. And the dogs. My eyes already hurt. Um, I don't know if it's from the screen already. Like the brightness is down, but it's just really annoying. So I decided to take a break from looking at the screen. I did make an eye doctor appointment just to get checked up because I haven't gone since I started prep last year for my glasses that didn't really do anything. So I'm pumped about that so she can actually tell me if anything's going on or anything. But um, like I said, I took a break and I'm making some breakfast. I am just chopping up some veggies over here. Um, today is low carb day, so I have 110 carbs to play with. Um, so I'm gonna have like an egg, veggie, veggie bowl, <laughs> vegetable medley, if you will. And then I have two options, don't know what I want yet. I have these Joseph pita reps, just pitas, that they're uh, 10 carbs. Or I have these Joseph's flatbreads that are 14 carbs. So I haven't decided which one I want yet, so <laughs> just gonna think it through and then make a game time decision. So I'm gonna finish chopping up these veggies and I'll see you guys in a little bit.
here it is. This is breakfast. Bunch of eggs, veggies, and a pita bread. And I'm just gonna make like little sandwiches. Um, and then I'm probably gonna top it with some salsa. Um, I had a bite and it's really good, so I might not have the salsa, but I bring it out just in case. You know what I'm saying? So all I'm gonna do, all this cheesy goodness, hmm, put it in here. A little breakfast boat, if you will. <laughs> oh, missed that one. Voila. Easy peasy. So much cheesy squeezy. <laughs> what? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna eat this and I will come back in a little bit. And I'm sure you all know that I always need something sweet after I finish a meal. So I'm gonna have a little bit of this sugar cookie G butter because oh, why not, right? And you guys know I have a discount code for you guys. I will put it in the description box below. I believe it's Yami 10 in caps, but I'll put it in the description box below. If you guys have never had this, Sugar cookie, birthday cake, brownie batter are like my tops. It never makes it to the microwave though. All right, I'm gonna get back to work. Guys, I think I have a problem, like a big one. I'm still hungry. <laughs> like, maybe hungrier. I, ugh, I just don't understand. Like, it. I feel like nothing satisfied me that I just ate. I mean, it was delicious. I'm not saying it wasn't delicious. I, I was really good, but I don't feel like satisfied. I'm hungry. I wonder why. I wonder if it's because of my training now that I'm training more. Probably, speaking of, I'm probably gonna work out in a couple hours, an hour and a half maybe. I stepped outside with the dogs and it's really nice. So I'm really excited. Looking forward to that. And I'm putting off going back to my computer because my eyes hurt. <laughs> ah! Right, Poopy? What do I do? What do I do? Mommy, quit your bitching and get to work. Got it. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> okay, it's about 1.45 and I am going to go outside and work out. I was gonna go like outside of the house, um, like out of our driveway and around the neighborhood to run, but I'm just gonna go outside and do my sprints. Hopefully there's enough room. I'm wearing what I took my picture in this morning, just the shorts, the sports bra, and the sneakers, and there's poopies. And I wanna show you guys something. Like, you see how good I look in front, right? Like nothing is wrong. You would think that I have the perfect body, but then, when I turn around, you see my cellulite. <laughs> so, I guess the whole point of that is to, I don't know really, just just remember that it's not all what you see. Um, I'm not sure why I wanted to say that, but I know that a lot of girls are like, oh my gosh, she looks so great, and you're on your goals and stuff, but if I turn around, would you still say that? Probably not, because I don't think anybody wants cellulite. Um, but yeah, just remember that we all have our flaws, we all have our insecurities. Mine happens to be my cellulite, um, like right under my butt, but um, it is what it is. I'm not gonna hide that anymore just because I have a little bit of the dimple, or, or a lot of dimples under my butt. So again, let me just show you. So we're good here, right? Yay, great, you're so strong, you're powerful. And then you turn around and you're like, oh, but your butt looks gross. <laughs> it is what it is, guys. And I am not gonna pretend like it's not there because it's definitely there. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go work out. I'll try to film some of it for you. I'm just doing sprints. I might do a circuit. Not sure yet. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. So, this is what I've been sprinting. All of this, and then down that way. I hope you can see me. I'm out of breath. Just finished my last sprint. I've got a companion with me, Kona. For those of you that think I don't love Kona. <laughs> um, holy moly. I was planning on filming this, but I was originally planning on going in the backyard. That didn't work so well. So I came to the front. Um, I will say though, it's a beautiful day. Great day for a 
for a run sprint. Um, I will say, however, it's hard to run in shorts. <laughs> Literally going up my butt every time I was sprinting. But say lovey. All right, I'm going to finish up my walk here, go inside, and probably shower. Because i got to film something. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Okay, I went and grabbed my camera because I did some thinking. And I realized that I might have been a little bit rushed before my run. And I don't know that I made my point <laughs> when I was talking about how I looked or whatever. So... You know, sometimes as an influencer, like all these people that have these giant accounts, their non-posed, non-flexed pictures might be what someone wants to be. And, you know, it might make it seem like, oh, I'm not posed, I'm not flexed, but I still look good, which is good. Like, I'm not saying that these people shouldn't feel good, but we just have to be careful how we put it out there you know because there are some people I know that look freaking amazing slouched over and hunched and with a little bit of fat on them and I wish I could look like that when they're not posed and they're making it seem like that's bad you know what I'm saying that's just a little I don't even know what a little prereq for what I'm about to say um, so we always see these pictures, whether they be not flexed, flexed, unphotoshopped, photoshopped, whatever, and we always compare ourselves, good or bad. Um, I know that if I'll see a picture with someone with a little bit more cellulite than me, in the past I'd be like, oh, thank God, you know? Um, unfortunately, that was that's true. And if I would see somebody that I thought was a little bit bigger than me, I'd compare myself or even skinnier than me. and. I guess what I'm trying to say is that, like, let's take me for instance. I post a lot of pictures facing forward because my booty, while it may be big, it is full of, uh, it is cellulite -y. It has cellulite and that has always been my one thing that I just hated about myself. And, you know, Everybody has it, right? So why am I so scared or afraid? <sighs> yeah, my cellulite went away. A lot of it went away when I was um, prepping. And obviously when I started eating again, it came back. Because that's just what I'm predispositioned to. Oh, predisposed to, excuse me. And I just have to accept it. <laughs> but what I'm trying to get at, and I don't know that I make sense right now, but... I think it's time for me to be a little bit vulnerable with you guys because it's not fair. Um, I have this platform, while it's not huge, <laughs> I do have this platform and for some reason a lot of you decide to follow me. So I, I just want to show you guys that I too am a real person and I have mosquito bites and stuff all over me right now, that I too am a real person and that I too have insecurities. And I too have cellulite. I just choose to not show it all the time. Sorry about the noise. I came up to get the mail. I'm expecting a book. Hold please. Nothing. I got nothing. Mail hasn't come yet. But anyway, I just want to show you guys that if someone's showing you a picture, it could be their very best picture or it could just be like a really good picture um, and you don't see behind them, in my case. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that it's not always how it seems and it's not always what it appears to be. My point is, my picture towards the front, I'll post it here, looks awesome. Looks like I'm fit, I'm lean, I'm athletic, I'm healthy. And then you turn me around and it looks like I'm a slouch. Like, I have a bunch of fat that I carry behind my butt or under my butt that, you know, you can make a lot of assumptions about that picture, but that's just my weak side, my weak point. And we all have them. And that's just what I want to show you guys because it's not perfect. You'll always have things that you'll want to improve on. And 
you just gotta keep going, you know? Um, comparison is the thief of joy. There'll be days that I'll be feeling so great and then I'll hop on Instagram and I'll see a girl that has a perfect butt. She's not even posing and I'm like, well, damn, <laughs> there goes my. And that also is something that I have to work on. I can't let outside influences affect how I feel because I mean, if you say that out loud, it's complete bullshit, right? Like we can't let other people affect how we feel about ourselves. So I guess that's gonna help. I guess that's how I'm gonna wrap it up. <laughs> um, just, just remember that next time you're scrolling through Instagram or taking a picture with a friend or I don't know, we all have something that we're insecure about and it is what it is. It's our job as sisters, as friends, to continue to uplift each other, you know, and lift each other up when they're feeling secure, when, just even when they're not, just an everyday thing, because can you imagine what world we would live in if every girl supported every girl? Like, we'd literally be unstoppable. I don't know why that's not the case right now, but it would be wonderful. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this talk. Sometimes I feel like I should be doing more of these little talks instead of like showing me how I showing you how I eat because I do want to be more than just a body. Um, I'm gonna be 31 this month, holy moly, at the end of the month, and I feel like I have much more experience than oh, I thought. I heard a car. Hey, Kona. Hi. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, what I was saying is I'm 31 gonna be 31 at the end of the month and I just have a lot more life experience than a lot of people I know and maybe I should just start sharing that you know lessons I've learned or something I don't know lessons with Yami but then I think who am I to teach somebody a lesson you know I mean not like that but like I don't know I'm just talking out of my butt right now but I think I'm gonna end the vlog right here just because it's this clip has been super long and I don't want it to be extremely long since we're doing daily vlogs now, but um, let me know what you guys thought about this little conversation and uh, what are your thoughts on on, on what I spoke about. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys know that I love you all very, very much and whatever it is that you're going through, struggling with, in the middle of, uh, just keep going because that's where you find yourself. That's where you grow, that's where you learn and that's how you come out stronger. So, um, I've been trying to close out this vlog forever, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.